our next guest, uh, John Gizzy, who I've known for a long time. He used to come with notepad in hand when I was serving in Congress. It's great to have him as one of our colleagues. Mm -hmm. And so let's call on Brother Gizzy, Skyping in from Washington, D.C. Let's talk about the situation involving Rick Perry. Ultimately, will this redound to Perry's political benefit, John? Yes, and I can say that because, J.D., I'm probably the only guest you're going to have who actually worked for Travis County at one point. I worked for the tax assessor's office before I began my career as a reporter, and I know a little bit about the operation. Quite honestly, it has been said about the Travis County District Attorney's Office under the previous two chief prosecutors that given the opportunity, they could secure an indictment of a ham sandwich from a grand jury. Um, Tom DeLay, we certainly know that his career was destroyed by an indictment. In addition, uh, Kay Bailey Hutchinson, who later became Republican Senator from Texas, was someone who as state treasurer came under indictment uh, for campaign related items and eventually the case was completely dropped. Uh, this is an office that is reckless with its indictments, and now it is with the governor. My feeling is he not only comes out, he runs for president proclaiming himself certifiably innocent. Well, you mentioned your, your uh, past work history there in Travis County. What happens? Is that Travis County, the People's Republic of Austin, and uh, those well, elected? Go ahead. Yeah, it was headed in that direction when I worked there 35 years ago, J.D., and now I'd say it rivals Berkeley or East Lansing, Michigan, as a haven for liberalism. Yes, uh, people refer to it as the People's Republic, and gradually one is seen in its elected officials uh, turning to the left. Ronnie Earle, the district attorney who was there, who brought down Tom DeLay, was notably a very partisan Democrat. His successor, who is at the fulcrum of the controversy with the governor and sought the indictment, is no better. Uh, what, what is the future of Rosemary Lemberg and her situation, seeing her on tape like that? Well, I'll tell you something. She has managed to hang in there, and to the best of my knowledge, there's no impeachment proceedings for a district attorney, certainly not in Travis County. On the other hand, I think her opportunities for re-election or a higher office are a bit limited right now. Uh, watching that video myself, I'd say it slows the momentum. Well, sadly, stories that appear to have the momentum nationally, the situation in Ferguson, Missouri, overseas, what is going on in Iraq. President Obama coming back to Washington, interrupting his vacation. There was speculation he might be moving forward with an executive order concerning immigration. What do you believe the president will do when he comes to Washington? Have you gotten any, uh, any insights to the buzz surrounding his return to the nation's capital? Most of my colleagues are expecting we will start having some regular briefings, at least for a few days. The press is normally briefed when the president is in town. Uh, as to what he will do, my feeling is that he will assume a very hands-on position when it comes to Ferguson, Missouri, and the situation in Iraq, as well as in Ukraine, where it appears as though the forces loyal to President Poroshenko have the advantage over the Russian-backed separatists. These are major issues, as you point out, J.D., uh, but you mentioned an executive order by the president on immigration. Given the severity of the situations he's facing right now, from the streets of Ferguson, Missouri, to the uh, great outdoors that is Ukraine, to the deserts of Iraq, I don't think he's going to throw more controversy and throw more oil on the proverbial fire. All right, John Gizzy, we'll leave it there and we'll keep an eye on what happens. And as always, we'll be calling you on you again for your insights and analysis. Thanks so very much. Looking forward to it, J.D. John Gizzy of Newsmax.com, America's Forum continues.